Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Bookmap Live Trading Webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Uh, and uh, we're going to go through the live analysis today. We do this Monday, Tuesday, and Fridays. Uh, it's um, uh, in line with our educational course, and it is forward-looking live analysis. It's not hindsight. Uh, so that you can apply what you've learned from our educational course. It will go for about an hour, maybe longer. Uh, and uh, uh, go through as many instances of order flow as we can from uh, whatever uh, instruments you guys want to look at. Uh, we will have uh, JTrader uh, trading stocks tomorrow, uh, but uh, he, um, uh, yeah, he'll come in around 10:20 or so. Uh, Wednesdays, that's what he does. But we will not have Scott on Thursday. It's a U.S. holiday, so um, Scott will be off, uh, and we will have no webinars Thursday or Friday. All right. Okay. Yep. Good morning, Alan. Good morning, Guido. Um, yeah, Alan, I'll take a look at uh, your, your post or your email. Um, so let's go through some disclosures and then we'll jump in and look at this live market. We just saw some really great stuff in the previous webinar, the basics webinar that's that's free and open to all. Uh, it, you know, you guys may, may consider going into that uh, webinar, just, uh, you know, maybe the last half of it when we go through that live analysis because it just... Just seems like uh, you know you just see the uh, the momentum in the morning and and uh, you get you get some really nice moves. Uh, usually around 10:15 or so, it starts to um, you know you get this you start getting the back and forth uh, and it comes a little more challenging to read. Uh, anyway, risk disc or general disclosure: all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. The risk disclosure of trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so let's jump in. Let's take a look. Uh, we were looking at the NASDAQ E-mini uh, and uh, some really great stuff in here. Uh, love seeing this. Look at look at the, the size of this liquidity down here. Amazing. Um, you know, down at, at 16,300. Uh, you can see all the movements here. Uh, in fact, let me, uh, I can add some uh, uh, backfill data in here. So we can see like uh, uh, the overnight as well. I just want to see how long these guys have been in here. Uh, I mean, they all transacted. You can see this move into here. Uh, and, uh, you know, they, they're long. Uh, and uh, uh, there's also just massive uh, iceberg uh, pr uh, purchases down here as well. Okay, a thousand for for the Nasdaq. This is a this is a lot. Okay, look at that spike. Uh, and look at people getting stopped out on the way down and stopped out on the way up as well. Now they're getting stopped out on the way down. It, you know, retail is just getting uh, just clobbered uh, in here. Um, so uh, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's read the order flow because we we um, uh, initially uh, yeah. Here we go. We got I got data back to. Um, about 1 a.m. here. Still waiting for the heat map to fill it in. Um, all right. Well, let's just zoom in here. I'll just, I'll just kind of kind of go through it uh, quickly. Uh, into this high liquidity, uh, lots of buyers coming out. Uh, we, we were covering it. We we're looking for the move back up into uh, here, 325. It did. Uh, and then it blasted through it, and I, I thought we'd get a pullback and a retest back down here, but there was no uh, uh, nothing to do there. Uh, the um, uh, the buyers just came in hand over fist. Okay, lifted it again, pulled back to here, lifted it again and again up into high liquidity up in these areas here. We're looking for um, you know, for those reasons, we're looking for 375 or 380 up here, uh, 400, and it traded even through 400. Uh, I, I thought we'd get up to here to about 425. We did not. Uh, it just came shy of it here. Okay, uh, just around 419 or so, looks like. Uh, and then uh, sellers starting to come in. Okay, and then we read, we started to read the, uh, the selling pressure coming in uh, and um, right in here, okay. Just classic stuff. I mean, we, we, you guys know uh, what what I'm talking about. We saw the sellers can come in here, high liquidity on the offer here, uh, but uh, I'm I'm still bullish. I'm still looking for for buyers, right? Is we we have no reason to be bearish uh, yet. 
we trade down to high liquidity here buyers come in again they're starting to see clusters of buying up here but this is where it starts to break down buying is in here they can't make a higher high they can't even come back up into this area all right so uh, they even try again here and look at here's the buying up here we, we're seeing some buying up here but they're not even making a higher high okay and we have sellers down here and sellers down over here so if we revisit this area we're looking to, for sellers to drop it and we have exhaustion in here now uh let's see is caleb caleb in here today yeah there you are okay um uh here's this is a really really a, a good kind of um uh uh, understanding of some exhaustion, uh, multiple uh, areas of exhaustion. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, basically what, what does it mean? Well, you know, we're looking for buyers in here and this is not exhaustion up here. There's buyers up here. Okay. They just couldn't make a higher high. Uh, and then uh, there's buyers in here. There's buyers in here. Okay. But look down here. See how there's no buyers here. Okay. And these little points here. Okay, so you, you start to see sellers actually at some of these lower areas. Now, uh, some here, not so many here, but where are the buyers again? And, they're, and we're still making lower highs all the way through here. So that's when we're looking for sellers here to drop it back down to this liquidity, okay? And to trade trade into it, okay? At least into it, okay? We, we were talking, we were actually covering in the webinar there um, that, uh, uh, we were looking for the move uh, back down to, I had the heat map off. Uh, so we we're just kind of speculating on where this might go. Uh, the uh, first move was around this 375 area here. It just blasted right through that all the way back down to this swing and this area here. Then we got the bounce. So this was a pretty powerful and strong move. Now, when we look at this in the order flow analysis, okay, this is exactly the kind of move we're looking for because they're moving it away from these previous value areas or, or areas of consolidation where price went back and forth. Sellers have, have come in and, and they moved it away. We consolidate again and we find more sellers, okay? This is like a flag pattern, but it's bearish. We see sellers consolidation at a lower area. If, there were, if it was not um, a bearish, we'd see buyers come back up into these areas here. And then we see more sellers at a lower low in this area here. We're looking for them to try to drive it lower, okay? So look for these moves in here. Uh, and uh, once you start to kind of uh, capture and understand some of these moves, these are very, very easy reads, I think. Uh, understanding they're moving it away from areas. Uh, and they're still exploring and moving it away from areas here, okay? So uh, now they've moved it all the way back down to 300. I was speculating earlier, like, well, if it comes down here in the near future, this is going to be a really interesting area. We're already here. Okay. In fact, it already made a lower low. Uh, so um, I want to see down here now, if, uh, are we still seeing more sellers down here? Okay. Because there's a lot of buying down here and a lot of icebergs and a very strong move out of this area. Okay. We typically assume that there's gonna be more um, supply or more demand down here. Uh, and we're gonna find profit taking from the sellers and buyers will start to come in. Okay, because we <laughs> move down, big move up, big move back down. Likely we're gonna find more buyers down here and icebergs as well. We're starting to find some icebergs in here as you guys can see. Okay, I would we would assume that. Now, if our assumption is incorrect, the, the, the volume is gonna tell us. Okay, we, we're going to see more sellers down here, and they're going to just blaze right through this area if there is more selling pressure. Okay, and it's not so clear right now. Um, so uh, uh, we see a nice string of sellers here, here, uh, and then in this area here, it's kind of getting a little more convoluted, and we're starting to see some buyers come back in now. Okay, so here we are back down to the swing. Okay, now let's see if we get our more, more sellers down here. Okay, if we do, and we are, they should be able to move it back down to 250. Okay, now I, I would be careful on this move here uh, because uh, this could be a false breakdown because we're starting to, we're down at some pretty critical areas here, right? So a false breakdown, what would that look like? Instead of them driving it away here, so they drove it down, but they didn't really drive it away. So if we get buyers back up above this selling here, 
and I'm looking for a retest back up into the probably 300 here. Okay, and that's a likely scenario here. Okay, so let's see if we get buyers up here around 280. And let's see, there we go, a little bit. Now we're looking for, now we're looking for a lot of buyers and we're looking for them to move back up into 295, 300. Okay, so this is kind of turning into, so far at least, um, a false breakdown below uh, this 75 level, 275 level here. Okay, we're, Actually, I shouldn't say that. We're, we're still kind of in a downtrend um, in, in the bigger picture here. Uh, so we got a pullback. We only got it back to this structural area so far. All right, looking better. All right, now, same thing here. We need to see buyers up here, though, 285. Yeah, they, they got it. They, they should be able to push this higher now. Uh, probably back up into this swing here. Yeah, right around our 300 level. And there we go. Okay, so let's see if they can even take it higher here, 310 up here, the, the, a bigger swing and the liquidity coming in here. Some pretty strong buying, so I, I'd be looking for it. All right, one more push. Let's see it, buyers. 310. Can he do it? Do you have enough? Yeah, they've got enough here. They should be able to do it. Okay, just shy of it. Still looking for it, though. All right, buyers, this is it right here. You got to do it here. Uh, they're on the bid here. That looks good. We just need to see the green dots and then move up into 310. It's a battle. The sellers are battling it back, back and forth there. Yeah, all right, sellers take it down a bit here. Uh, let's see if the buyers come back in here at this little swing here. No. All right, all right, so uh, I, I want to mark up some structure here. It's uh, to understand uh, the, the volume within these structures here. And you can kind of see, um, it's actually kind of, a, a, since this was a strong move, the structure kind of is up here. Uh, and then we see this one down here. Uh, so uh, it, it, anyway, it's a little more convoluted, um, but uh, we're back up into here now. Okay, after the drop, so the drop came back down to where we broke out from and found those buyers in that strong move. Okay, and we're still back up above it here. I mean, sellers did come in and drop, dropped it here, uh, but we need to see if, they, uh, uh, if the sellers come in back down into these areas here. Again, then we'll get one more drop uh, likely down to the lows. Okay, all right, let's let's uh, let's take a look at this. It's uh, back and forth in here, no clear read at the moment. Okay, buyer's coming in. Boy, it's, it's yeah, this can be a battle in here. Uh, you can see high liquidity is coming in very quickly and then getting filled uh, in some of these little areas here. Okay, so uh, now, now we got our buyers. Now they should be able to lift it back to 300 now. Okay, and then if we get enough here, we should probably get our move to back to three, 310 now. That, that's pretty good buying here. So we, let's go looking for one big more push up into this liquidity up here on that buy side. OK, 
cannot do it. Okay, so there's a lot of selling in here too. See our structure? So sellers, sellers likely now, you know, they, they have a shot at it down to back down to 280 here. But even 280 is, is still still bullish in here uh, for this little small move here. All right, so here, here come the sellers actually. So they are starting to sell back down in this 280 level here. Now this is starting to turn into kind of a, a big volume area now. Uh, you know, price seems to be kind of uh, happy in this area here. Okay, so this is this is considered like value basically. So you know, we're seeing buyers down here, sellers up here, right? Moving this back and forth in between 280 and this 310 area. Okay, quite a bit of selling starting to come in here. All right, sellers should be able to drop it right back down to 280 here. And as soon as I say that, buyers come right back in. Now, nah, that's some pretty good selling. I, they should be able to do it. They should be able to make, make 280 here. And through it. Let's see if they can go through it. There's, there's our good selling. That's what we're looking for. So lows of the day now. Let's see if we can get there. And let's zoom out. Let's get our bigger picture approach here. So we're just looking at some of these little areas to uh, uh, for moves in there. Uh, and a bigger picture here is like, wow, you know, we start to get below this area here and all this buying, uh, we can move pretty pretty quickly down into 200. Uh, maybe you know 100 or you know uh, 1600 the figure down here. That's quite a bit of ways away. Uh, but just taking a look here uh, at the potential uh, for this selling here uh, below this really important level at 300. So I'm, I'm going to take a step back here. Uh, and guys, if we, we can take a look at uh, other markets, if you if you like, just let me know. I'm happy, happy to do so. Um, let's see. I think, James, you wanted to look at crude maybe like yesterday or, or gold. Um, and uh, I think someone wanted to look at, at Tesla. So let me know. Um, so, um, okay, Caleb, the ES, sure, sure, yeah, no problem. Uh, I, I stuck with, I like, you know, I usually go with the NASDAQ just because we see so much more follow through in this market. Uh, I know it's a little, maybe a little more challenging to read, but um, uh, the, um, and faster moving. Uh, due to you know lower liquidity, but the S and P is just so rotational. It's not very good for uh, demoing, uh, you know, lots of order flow, all, all you know, and, and and looking for follow through. Uh, if uh, if you're if you're demoing it all day long, yeah, you know, then that's fine. Uh, but uh, we're only here for um, a, a, a select amount of time, uh, and then that's it. All right. Okay, Alexander, yeah, we'll look at crude and we'll look at uh, gold uh, and the ES. All right, I'm looking for these sellers to show up here. Let's see if they can. And they're not, they're not, not yet. All right, well, you know, we we're showing this yesterday, our delta column here, uh, volume uh, delta. So this is buy minus sell within your column. Look at the buying up here. We, we saw all that buying up here. Okay, so if we can get buyers back up above here, we're gonna get our move to 310. Okay, so this is it. This is where it is right here. It has, to, it has to be above this. This is where we need to see it. Here they come. Okay, they have the potential now. Move it to 310. Okay, just by understanding some of these columns here or the data within it. Okay, and we see the volumes moving, right? So I'm, I am looking for them to reach back up to this 310 now. Right, so some of these columns can give some really nice insight, uh, you know, by, by understanding the, um, uh, you know, the, um, the separation here uh, with the delta. Okay, see how you don't get that with your volume column here, okay, which is a composite of both buyers and sellers. This is buy minus sell. 
Okay, so this is where buyers are in control above this 87 level. Okay, which which actually is is pretty nice for the for the demo here because you can see that's where we broke out from too, right? So we're looking for here up here, right? And that's where the buyers they're still in control. So let's see them test to this edge here, right? That's the that's the concept. All right, you know, I want to take one step back here. I want to take a look also at the um, a larger time frame on NASDAQ. Then we'll look at some of these other markets uh, as well. Uh, the, um, uh, you know, look at yesterday's uh, action here. I mean, this is, um, you know, pretty bearish candle. If you guys, you know, follow your candlestick patterns. Uh, the, um, I mean, this is a big, big move to the downside. Well, we, we saw the, actually the move to the upside yesterday during the webinar. And then later, uh, pretty pretty strong move to the downside so we're starting to kind of see a bit of an order flow shift here uh, on this daily chart okay and, and I'm just reading the candles I don't have the volume data within it uh, I don't have uh, the auction within it but just understanding the moves and and strength of moves uh, and then the pullbacks so you know not a bad pullback kind of equal to some of these candles here but buyers still in control uh, you know, they, they were able to lift it back up above here and some pretty strong breakout moves here. This is pretty strong selling move now. Okay. And if we look at this, look at our structure here, somewhere around in here, I, we would anticipate a, a bounce here. Okay. This is where sellers are starting to push it through. So if they can push it through, then on this daily chart, yeah, we're looking for the, this area down here. Okay. This would be 16,200. We were just looking at 16,200 uh, as well. We're even down into these areas here with these wicks. These are buyers down here in the wicks, right? Uh, and they moved it higher. So, uh, you know, a, a, a move back down into this kind of uh, 200 uh, area, 210 to, you know, 190 area, somewhere around in there, uh, is pretty good uh, uh, on this chart at least. Not not a bad uh, um, a zone to, to uh, consider a, a revisit. Okay, now, if we're looking at our other candlestick charts here, you can see kind of the back and forth in here. Uh, and then sellers, again, nibbling away down here at the bottom. Okay, so yeah, I, I going with the kind of momentum here to the downside in the daily chart, I'd be looking for this to, to drop, and, and it is right now. Okay, so we're still looking for this. I'm looking for them to, this is the move right now. I'm looking for them to drop it, strong move. Okay. Let's, I want to see them drop it into this liquidity here uh, at, uh, where is this? This is uh, 258 or 260 and then 250. Okay, the figure, they, get, they want, want to see them trade it down to the figure here. Okay, so we're going with that higher time frame momentum here. Okay, we're at lows of the day for the cash session or for the entire session. And uh, the next level is down here, 225. Okay. And then we're looking looking for this 200 level. Now, see the liquidity starting to come in here? They were here earlier, but they're coming back in now too. All right. So anyway, we'll come back and revisit this. We'll take a look at some of the other markets. But I, I want to I want to uh, cover this with you guys uh, to go over the um, looking at some of the higher time frame and aligning that with the order flow and the smaller time frame within Bookmap. And, and, and then look at these three elements here on this book map chart to start to read uh, where price might be going. All right, so let's look at the ES. We'll start with that one. Very similar, actually a little bit stronger, right? Uh, it's, uh, it's retesting this area here, uh, but it has not really made lower lows yet. Beautiful move down and, and look at look at the liquidity in here too. Very, very different than that NASDAQ. Uh, the liquidity is down here at this 4650 area here. Uh, and um, uh, we don't see that big wall of liquidity like we did in, in, uh, in NASDAQ. Uh, in fact, this is totally different uh, in, in terms of a market. The, the icebergs, they're selling. They, we saw a thousand contracts buying and for the NASDAQ, that's huge. Okay, so now they're breaking lows here. So this is, we're looking for, for this uh, uh, 4660 here. 
and it's the next level of liquidity. Uh, yeah, I think they got enough here, not only for 4660, uh, but also 4650. Uh, we'll see. But uh, the behavior so far right now is they're starting to add liquidity in here, as you can see. So they want to be buyers here, it looks like, as price is coming down toward them. That's the context here we're looking at in the order book. Okay, we went down to lows for the day, uh, and um, uh, we're still finding the aggressor, uh, aggressive sellers here. But the liquidity is down here, but they're lining up in the order book to buy more uh, down here as price is coming down toward them. So it seems like their intent here is to trade. They want to be buyers here, All right? So we got to see uh, the sellers reach these guys down here. Uh, and right now, um, yeah, nice little move here, but now some sideways action, maybe a pullback uh, to 68 due to the, you know, the rotational markets here in the S&P. But ultimately, we're looking for um, 62 and 60 here. All right, so that's a quick kind of analysis there. Let's look at crude. Uh, looking at the January contract, um, yeah, yesterday we saw the uh, um, some interesting stuff here. This, this did something similar here today. Uh, no, no stops and icebergs though, uh, and uh, and look at the strong move away. Okay, and then sideways consolidation again, strong move, uh, followed by another one. All right, so. Uh, oil is definitely, um, you know, on on the buy side here. Look at the pullback so far. It's it's, uh, uh, you know, aligned in in a sense with the um, uh, stock indexes that they pulled back or these these this pulled back. But this is a very very different looking chart. It's still very bullish here. All right, so let's uh, let's see if uh, I mean, we have our high volume node up here, uh, and uh, we traded into a lot of this high liquidity up here. Uh, you know, another thing that kind of just stands out to me here. Um, I'll get to you guys questions in just a minute. Um, the um, you know if you, maybe you guys um, there's a lot of Elliott Wave traders out there still. I know uh, if you guys are looking at something like that, this is the wave completion. You know. You've got like one, two, three, four, five, right? Now we're looking for um, a potential reversal here. Okay, so you'd be looking for more sellers down here if you follow this. And you're looking at market structure, which is, you know, the Elliott wave is a market structure uh, pattern. So you're looking, yeah, in fact, I kind of like it here. Look at the selling coming in. So I'm looking for them to trade it back down here, 77.60. Uh, and uh, maybe they can break it here, uh, break this level, and then trade back down to 77.20. Okay, I'd be looking for that. Uh, we, this is where we want to see them break it right here, this 81 level. See the buying here? We're looking for sellers below it, and then this, yeah, 750, uh, and then 77.20. All right, so that's crude. Uh, let's go over to gold. Okay, sell off into high liquidity here um, and back down to lows here. High liquidity at 1785. Still bearish. Uh, overall structure is bearish. We're below this area here where it broke from here. And we've retested here once, twice, three times. Uh, not enough buyers to trade up into 94 liquidity. So we're back down at the lows again. And, and right below where these buyers came in here, we're starting to find buyers again now. Um, I don't really have too much to say on on this. Um, the uh, you know I want to see if if buyers. I mean we're starting to see them come in. It's it's more of just kind of a, a quick move, maybe up into 89 here, maybe. Um, just just due to what we're seeing at the at the bottom of the range here. 
but uh, you know, a lot of times we'll see this, and then like we kind of looked at uh, Nasdaq and exhaustion or lower highs first, uh, and then um, uh, sellers start to come in. Uh, and then if they do, we, and we get back down into 85 here, there should, they should be able to push it and extend uh, down into these levels here and explore these this and trade into this liquidity down here. All right, so let me get to questions now, uh, and then we'll jump back here and take a look at uh, NASDAQ and see what's happening. And some back and forth in here, uh, but um, yeah, here, here they come. Yeah, I mean, we're going with the flow here, sell side, until we see something different. Seller's coming in now. I want to see him break it here. One of the things we look at too um, uh, has been really nice. I, I have always um, liked it um, very much is, uh, you know, you can look at a lot of different add-ons within Bookmap, stops and icebergs and, and, and other confluences. Uh, but uh, one really nice one is just look at other markets, correlated markets. Like, are we making lower lows here in the um, uh, S&P? Yeah, we're starting to, right? Here comes some selling right now. So what about the, what about the Russell? Yeah, not bad. All right, so looking for the NASDAQ to drop here. Looking for it right now. Here, 43, 42, down to 25. Now, you know, we, we've seen this um, in past webinars. When we start to get these markets aligned, and the order flow starts to align with with the uh, the correlated markets. My God, they it, they just turn into just beautiful, beautiful moves. So you know it, it's starting to play out here. So you know 200 is not far off, right? And that's our higher time frame analysis too. Uh, somewhere around in here, we said somewhere between 210 and, and 190, right down in here, uh, which is not not a bad little area. Uh, so. Uh, uh, you know, there were some buying wicks and some structure here where we broke out from. So, yeah, I'm looking for sellers to, I mean, these are strong moves here on the sell side last few days. So looking for that move to continue. Um, all right, so let me get to some questions here. Yeah, okay, Caleb, that's the, the, the two different C, CVPs here, chart range, volume, profile. So just um, right, uh, right click in one of yours and you can duplicate it by inserting a new column. Okay, and then right click in that again and then go to um, uh, configure column. And then I'm using Delta here. Okay, so if I, if I uncheck it, it's, it's the same as the, the other column I have over here. The only difference between these two columns is the Delta. All right, uh, good morning, Dean. Um, yeah, um, Dean, we're, we're asking about more historical data here. Um, uh, yep, you, you um, were away and then you, and I was mentioning that and uh, um, I can update you on that. Yeah, it's been kind of, there's been some legal issues with that. So we have not been able to offer it uh, at this point. But uh, yeah, you know, looking for it. Um, you can get up to 24 hours right now, and that's about it. Uh, it and you'll you'll need to subscribe to DX Feed Backfill Data. I think it's 14 bucks a month, so it's pretty pretty cheap. Uh, but uh, uh, you know, and you'll you if you're looking at loss of symbols, you'll you'll need to have um, uh, you know pretty pretty um, uh, robust computer to be able to handle all of that data. It starts to add up. Even though it's backfill data and it's parsed, it's not as accurate as when you're um, recording your bookmap data, when you open up a bookmap. Uh, 
Okay, let's see here. You're trying to connect your rhythmic uh, to your brokerage uh, and book map at the same time. Yeah, you're going to have to talk with um, with Ninja. Uh, if I guess you're using Ninja brokerage, they um, uh, they don't. Uh, you can you know the, the CME. Um, you can only use two. Uh, you can get up to two. Uh, different connections or two different platforms, uh, but no more. Uh, and you will need to pay for an extra data feed uh, for it. And your broker will um, provide you the details on that. You'll, you'll need to talk to them. All right. So, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's really kind of a pain, and, and it's too bad they did that. But, uh, um, you know, I think the next feed might only cost you like 15 bucks a month or something. Okay, where your original feed might cost you from your broker at least might cost you um, you know 60 uh, or, or 80 dollars uh, or something like that if you want to you can always go the route here from the marketplace the bookmap marketplace uh, where uh, you can get it here um, so from from bookmap.com go to the marketplace here and you can get rhythmic here so this would be totally separate from your broker this is only data there's no brokerage services so that's also an opportunity or, or possibility for 39 bucks a month for just CME data. If you want CME group, it's 99 bucks a month. All right, so there are, there are other options uh, to take a look at. Still looking for this big drop to take place here. It's still bearish here, so still looking for it. Um, it's just been kind of just slowly going lower here, but the, look at the selling coming in here. We should see the drop. Uh, we're looking at some of these other, other markets here as well. They're poised to drop. So looking for it. Okay, so we're, our first target was this kind of uh, 225. Okay, and then our second one is about 200. And we got the liquidity down there at 200. Now let's look a little bit lower here. Not seeing much uh, down below 200 uh, at the moment. So we, we said somewhere between 210 and, and um, 190 or so on that, that uh, daily candlestick chart. We're going to get some back and forth in here, guys. Like we're going to get a, a, a probably a, a test back up into some of this liquidity here right now. Uh, our little double bottom pattern here. Let me just cover this uh, quickly. This is going to be some back and forth. It's not it's not uh, behaving. Um, uh, like we uh, kind of were looking for of these really, really powerful, strong moves right down to uh, liquidity here. Uh, here. Here's why. High liquidity filled here. Many time, many places here, 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 and also here. Okay. And then here's our retest now. Okay. So look at the retest here. And you see how there's very little selling down here and we start to see buyers come in. Looking for them to try to take it back up into some of these these swings, at least right here, right? At least here, because that's the structure. So we're looking for a test to the structure, okay? And liquidity as well. And I don't see, you know, I mean, we usually typically look for the test to the structure or other side of the range or, or, or and or liquidity. And the, there's no liquidity in here, really high higher time frame liquidity. It's actually a way on the other side here, 250 up to 260 or so. Okay, so uh, anyway, now we're back down and we're finding our sellers. So there's our move. Now they should be able to drop it now into, you know, uh, 200 and then also to basically, you know, 210, 200. Getting a little bit of a false breakdown here. Went down to 220. We're back up above where it broke out, though. And we're coming right back down again. Where are the sellers, though? Sellers, there they are. All right, they sh we should should get the move here to 10. Do you guys have any questions? Is this like is this clear? We're we're trying to I'm you know 
my, my goal here is to go over um, kind of very simply um, understanding a very simple market structure and then the, the, the context of the volume and the, the order book within that structure. And that's it. You know, uh, we can go over, like I mentioned, Elliott Wave. Let's take a look at crude and see how that's going. Um, but, uh, or we can take a look at, um, you know, candlestick patterns. We can look at um, a volume profile, uh, you know, all sorts of different ways. But basically it's the same. All of them are really very, very similar. It's about structure and uh, the transactions and the auction within that structure. So I, and I'm just going over very, very simple uh, uh, structures here. Uh, and, um, and that's the goal. So this provides a very nice foundation for you guys. If you guys want to take it into um, all sorts of other more advanced analysis, uh, like you're, um, maybe you're looking at profiles on much, much higher time frames, like Scott Pulsini, uh, you know, uh, or maybe you're looking at uh, a huge, uh, um, you know, uh, breakouts or breakdowns and retests back to uh, moving averages like uh, JTrader. Okay, whatever it might be, it's really, that's fine. Uh, just look for the order flow within those areas uh, to give you uh, uh, the insights here. Okay, we got a lot of icebergs starting to starting to purchase in here on, on the low here. Also, look at the icebergs starting to purchase in here as well. So it's, it's some back and forth in here. Uh, pretty strong buying right now, so likely back up to the top of some of these ranges. Um, you know, they're going to move this and they're going to try to stop people out. And we got our icebergs going as well. Uh, so, uh, you know, back up into some of these these ranges that we were kind of outlined earlier here. First swing is here. The okay, second one is the top here, but the liquidity is more up here, 250 and above. This can be maddening uh, because overall bigger picture, we're looking for the move lower. Uh, but, uh, you know, th this is where, like, you know, take, I like to take my profits and get back in. Uh, or, you know, you can trade lower, uh, or I'm sorry, trade smaller size and widen your stops out. Uh, whatever you like. All right, so this was kind of mean reversion so far. We can look at our profiles here as well. Okay. We look at also our, our ranges here, okay, back to the top of this range. And um, now we wanna see what happens after that. So we, we found some sellers down here. We're making a lower high here. So this these, guy, these buyers kind of got what they wanted. They traded it back to, um, you know, the, the mean here and see if they can try to press it higher and back up into, you know, our 250 and, and liquidity up here. Yeah, 250 is a good one, 55 and 60. Um, all right, let's see if these sellers can now take it back down. We, we, we got back up to the mean, right? Now we're gonna see like, and, and what we're talking about here in terms of back to the mean or most traded level here, this is where volume profile is really nice. It just means the, 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 the price level that most traders agree with. Okay? And it's not really the POC, it's a, it's a smaller POC for this trending move. Okay, now look at, see the seller starting to drive it away now. Okay, came back to the mean. Now we're looking for the trade from the inside back out. And we're looking for sellers, right? Here's high liquidity on the on the offer here. Do we find sellers? Starting to. Yeah, they should be able to drop it. And we should get this trend to continue now. Back down to 210. And then finally our 200 level. Now we can even look at this move here as uh, you know, 
it's still within the structure here, the bearish structure. Now that may change, but we're, we're already breaking the trend line there. Okay, so yeah, looking for them to take it down. Buyers still fighting it. Okay, we're looking for sellers here. Okay, if we get enough, we should get our move back down to this. 211 or 212 area here. Yeah, here they go. Let's see if they can do it now. Looking for it. Looking for these sellers to show up and, and move this. Okay, big red dot here and quick move. Looking for a quick move. And the reason being is that these guys that bought in here, they're going to have to flip. And we should see a stop run as well. So be anticipating that. Yeah, see how the buyers, again, We've how many times do we see this, right? See how they're fighting it in here? But they're still making lower highs. Now, now they're making a higher high. All right, so we're going to get another kind of, like, maybe squeeze higher here. Maybe back up to here, 37. So this is different than we saw before, right? We saw sellers here. We saw lack of an even exhaustion, uh, and then and then we saw more sellers here. That's when we're looking for it, for the drop. Uh, instead, we we got kind of a not so many sellers down here, uh, and then buyers came in. So you know, back up into the top of the range, back up into maybe 37 here. All right, let me get back to some of these questions. Um, uh, Rick, is, he, is it a bug that I have to get Bookmap running for the real time uh, open or regular trading hours open? Um, no, the SVP and, and um, if you the backfill data will show up in the columns, there's no no problem there. Uh, yeah, uh, Caleb, these are um, uh, these are all recorded. Uh, you should get uh, an hour of free uh, and, and reach out to support on that. Or I'm sorry, no, don't reach out to support. Go to bookmap.com slash portal um, and then go to the education tab in there. And I believe uh, you'll see a link to the recorded webinars in there. Guys, we should see this. If we get our sellers here, this is going to be a, a direct move right down into 12 and then 200 here. It should be hard and fast here. And, and a nice stop run here. There's there's our 12, and the sellers are picking it up here, so looking for them to continue here. Right, and, and we're seeing lots of selling here, so looking for the continuation here, fast move, 200. Right, you, you, gotta, you basically kind of have to just jump in on some of those. Uh, and the reason being is like all of these buyers in here, they've got it wrong, right? And they're just gonna flip, and they're gonna, they're getting stopped out, as you can see. So we're looking for that continuation here. Yeah, you know, it's kind of odd. I mean, you, you I, that's what I'm looking for um, and would anticipate. And yet buyers are still fighting it in here. They're not getting, I mean, yeah, we do see the stops here, but they're still fighting it here. It just looks like a losing battle to me. Like we're going to drop into 200 here. 
yeah, there we go. See, see how the stops come in, right? You can see it right in here. It's just shy of 200. Still looking for it though. And that's some profit taking right there, just in front of the uh, figure. Probably some more profit taking. All right, sellers hit it, 200. Boom. All right, now we got 190 down here as well. Uh, that kind of crept up on us. We didn't see that in here earlier, but it's starting to come in now. So still still looking for them to take it down lower here. They just pulled at 190, they're at 185 now. They're pulling there as well. Anyway, so there's our bigger move. Uh, that's what we were looking for. Uh, and uh, let me, let's me let take a look here again now and kind of zoom back out uh, and uh, start to understand our bigger picture here. Boy, this is a beautiful chart, J just beautiful. Look at this, high liquidity, pulls, trades, bounce, and then uh, uh, back up into these areas, and then we saw the sellers come in and we're looking for this to continue. So we're, we're back down to 190. Yeah, that, that's right, Rick. So yeah, it's just, that, that's backfill data. Um, the backfill data has to be lighter, otherwise it would take forever to download. So, and it's just not as accurate, you know, uh, just note that. You'll, you'll look at it, but here, like, let's just go back here. I'll show you what I mean. Um, we, if we go back and zoom in here uh, to some of these areas. You'll, you'll just see like, it's, it's just not, you know, it just doesn't look quite right. You know, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. It, it really isn't, um, but it's just not as accurate. Now, if we if we go to forward and we look at the live market now, you're gonna see a lot more detail in here. Right? You look at these look at these stop runs or these sweeps. Uh, it's actually not a stop run, uh, that's new selling. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, you, you know, you, you'll see all, all sorts of other details in here. All the details in here. If you guys want to look at this or you trade al algorithmically, my God, you know, you, you've, you've got a really, really nice uh, a tool to analyze how your algos are uh, behaving. Guys, we're still dropping 185-ish. Um, I, I, you know, look, if we, I was just looking for that. It might come back down a little bit lower. This is really strong momentum here in this candle on the daily. So yeah, we can you know continue on down. Maybe we're going to come down into like uh, this kind of 680, uh, 1680 uh, level, 16080. Sorry, um, I, I I kind of think we're going to you know you know based on the the size of these candles and and you know we're we're likely going to start to slow down in some of these areas down here where we previously found some buyers. Okay. As pretty is pretty typical. So uh, we're down in that area. So uh, uh, yeah, and we are starting to find some buyers. See how they just made a higher high here. Uh, and uh, let's see if they come back in again here, and then try to lift it to 210. And nothing yet. So anyway, guys, I, I think um, we will uh, we'll wrap it up here. We'll um, uh, let's see any more questions. Okay, Caleb, yep. Uh, you're gonna uh, alert some of your friends about the uh, uh, book map, sounds good. Um, oh, thanks, Carl, have a good day. All right, there's a couple of Carls in here, I think. So, uh, uh, yep, uh, uh, but uh, Carl's been with us a long, long time. Uh, so, um, uh, always good to see you in here. Um, you're the real one. <laughs> you are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, guys, we'll, we'll wrap it up that, you know, that I think we're going to probably get some back and forth in here. So it's probably a good, pretty good time to, to, to wrap it up here. Maybe one quick look at crude to see how that played out our kind of, um, uh, uh, you know, potential Elliott wave here. Yeah, you know, nothing, nothing. We're looking, it's got a break here and it's got to start to reverse. Uh, but uh, we see buyers still coming in. So it, it may, it may come back up here and then, and then fail up here around uh, 78.40 and then break uh, down below. Uh, but uh, I don't see it yet. 
all right guys we'll wrap it up we'll call it a day thanks for coming and tomorrow we got we'll do some analysis here of the um uh you know stock indexes uh or whatever you want to look at uh, we will have about 15 minutes before J Trader gets in there and then he's going to go over stocks. Okay. And then it will be a uh, U.S. holiday Thanksgiving. So we won't see you until, until Monday after that. All right. Thanks for coming and uh, we'll catch up uh, tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye.